months ago, Harmony and Fred Tinsley. Couple of three trade rings 13 months ago, Stacy and Robert Mahar. And couple number four celebrated their union two months ago, Keita and Anthony Davaye. Join us today. We've got four wonderful couples, and are you ready to play the game? Yeah! Well, then we're going to start our show off by asking the husbands some questions, which means we have to ask the wives to take off to our soundproof room. So, ladies, if you would, please. And while the ladies are leaving, I'd like to remind our husbands I'll be asking you some five point questions, and you'll answer these questions as you predict your wife will answer the same question when she returns. Now, remember, if her answer matches your prediction, you get five points. And of course, it's the one couple with the most points at the end of the show that wins a wonderful second honeymoon. So, gentlemen, if you're ready, here's your first question. Gentlemen, in which of the following positions will your wife say you think she looks the least sexy? Sitting, standing, lying on her back, lying on her front. Where does she look the least sexy, Anthony? Um, I think I would say uh, sitting. 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 Um, she's not a sexy like, sitter. She's not a Well, she's got a really good figure, so you kind of want her to stand all the time. Oh, I got you. <laughs> I'd say sitting because she's uh, she's always worried about her stomach. She's always so sitting. She looks the least sexy. Well, not to me, but she thinks. No, that. no, you're telling me that she, sitting. She looks the least sexy. But right, Art. Well, I think, I think she looks good in all positions. Oh, I'd say out of the four, that's the one. Okay, Fred? Well, if I have to get in trouble, I'd have to say sitting. Sitting. Okay, she looks the least sexy sitting. Yeah, because she, she has a nice body, but, you know, sure. when you sit, everything starts to, you know, <laughs> flatten out. So, oh, it, boy, I know you know, that. it goes yeah. to the problem areas. Sure, Scott? <laughs> well, I don't know, but if she was on her stomach, I might not be able to see her face so good, and I think she's real pretty, so I'll just say, yeah. Uh, sitting, so my, standing, lying on her back, lying on her front. Lying on her front is not so good. Lying on her front. All right, next question, gentlemen. What food will your wife say is most likely to put her in the mood for romance? What food is going to put her in the mood for romance, Robert? Uh, I'd say Mexican food. Mexican food. There's a place we go to a lot that she really likes. It gets her going. <laughs> <laughs> Anytime I want to, like, spark it up, I yeah. put on the salsa. Spend a, spend a lot of time at the old Mexican food restaurant, don't you? Yeah. Rob, Fred. I'd have to say In N Out Burger. That's her favorite. So. In N Out Burger. <laughs> yeah, you know, In N Out Burger. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh. <laughs> no way, guys. <laughs> Scott. Oh, uh, pasta. She loves that pasta. Pasta will do it, huh? Yeah, that's right. Hey, okay. Anthony. Uh, watermelon. Watermelon? Yes. Watermelon yeah, that's her favorite. No, so. I'll be darned. Okay, next question. How will your wife say you will complete this sentence? This is you talking. If I could hypnotize my wife, I'd say. When you wake up, you will never do what ever again, not in this lifetime or the next. If you can hypnotize her, Fred, nag me, again. nag, nags, yes. ever again. Yeah, yeah. She She's... nags you a lot, doesn't she? Yeah. Yeah, I knew that. <laughs> yeah. Scott, uh, it'd have to be to lose her temper because I never know when it's going to happen. You'll never lose your temper. She'll never lose her temper. Who, Anthony? I uh, would have to say definitely not be late. You will never not be late ever again, not never in this lifetime again. or the next. Robert, I'd say whining. You'll never whine. She always gets what she wants when she does it, so she does it quite a bit. Thank you, gentlemen. We'll be right back to reunite these newlyweds, and we'll see how well our husbands have predicted what their wives will say. I'd have to be happy with you. Game. Thank you for joining us today. We're having a good time with four delightful couples. Now, gentlemen, we've recorded your predictions on cards. You now have them flat on your laps. And each time that your prediction matches your wife's answer, you'll get five points. And you know the rules. A couple of the most points at the end of the show wins a wonderful second honeymoon. So, ladies, nice to have you back. Here's your first question. For five points, ladies, in which of the following positions does your husband think you look the least sexy? The least sexy. Lying on your back? Lying on your front? Standing or sitting? Elizabeth? Lying on my front. Lying on your front, you look the least sexy. How come? Okay. Uh, I don't want to ask that. Never mind. <laughs> Scott predicted you would say, lying on your front. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Harmony, what do you think? You look the least sexy lying on your back, lying on your front, standing or sitting? Probably standing. Standing, you yeah. look the least sexy. Yeah. Really? Well, I mean, with my clothes off. Pardon me? <laughs> with my clothes off. <laughs> I have this little problem thing on the side right here. Where I can't you? tell when I have clothes on, but 
So, you know, just oh, a little bit right We'll here. take your word for yeah. it then, okay. Uh, he said you look the least sexy. Uh, Fred said when you're sitting. Why? Well, because standing you look all right, but sitting, you know, everything goes. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, taxi, taxi. <laughs> Daisy. I'd say sitting. Sitting. Mm -hmm. All right, he said you look the least sexy when you are sitting. Yeah, there you go. Peter, when did he say you look the least sexy? Sitting. Sitting? Well, he said you look the least sexy sitting. Yeah. <laughs> Next question, ladies. Tell me what food is most likely to put you in the mood for romance? Harmony, what food is most likely to put you in the mood for romance? Chocolate. Pardon me? Chocolate. Chocolate. I love, I love chocolate. That'll put you in the mood for romance. Yeah. Do you know what he said? He said, in and out burger. <laughs> In-N-Out sounds good. That's true, that's true. Chocolate and In-N-Out, yeah. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> what a night you could have. Yeah. Stacy. Lobster. Lobster. He said Mexican food. Mexican food. Where is it you want to go every time? I haven't been there in like six months. Uh, I'm sorry, Robert. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Boys. Probably sounds weird. I'd have to say watermelon. Watermelon. All right, he predicted you would say watermelon. Yeah. <laughs> What what food most is most likely to put you in the mood for romance? I'm gonna say Mexican because anything where I don't have to cook, that's the way to go. Way to go, Scott said it is pasta. Oh, you done pasta? That's don't be second. Italian okay. girl. All right. Yeah, pasta will do it for you according to him. Next question, sure. ladies. How did your husband complete this sentence? This is him talking. He said, if I could hypnotize my wife, I'd say, when you wake up, you will never do what. Ever again, not in this lifetime or the next. He's hypnotizing you, Stacy. You will never do what? Um, ask him to get something for me. Okay, he said that you will never, you will never whine. Ever again. Every time he wants something, you, get, you want, put on that little whiny voice, do it for him. <laughs> well, I whine when I ask him to get things for me. Always, all day long. Honey, can you get this for me? <laughs> okay, Peter, you will never do what? Be late. Be late. All right, he said you will never not be late. That's it, okay, you got it. <laughs> Elizabeth, he's gonna hypnotize you. You will never what? I know this one. What is it? Channel surf. Channel surf. By gosh, that's not right. Lose your temper. What's that? He, he said you've got a hot temper. I don't know when it comes. But yeah. It comes, boy. All right, Harmony, he said you will never ever what? I always send our son in there. To jump on him. Oh. To wake him up so he can't wake him up. Well, he said, and, and he would, you'll never nag him you'll again. Never nag him again. Oh, Fred, God, do this. Fred, do, do that. that. You got to get up and do this. It's time. Because we have to go, man. Because he's been until like 1 30, and I have to get up and feed the Deshaun, feed the Deshaun yeah. change clothes, and all that. Thing. She nags a lot, doesn't she? Yeah. Yes. If I yeah. have to. How do you put up with that? Because he likes I it. I tune it out. Oh, you just tune it out. Okay, we'll be back now to see how well the wives can predict what their husbands will say right after these messages. Secluded off stage, and it is your turn to predict what they will say. Remember, these are the 10 point questions. Here's our first one Ladies, will your husband say that the last time you boarded his ship of love, he was the captain of a speedboat, a rowboat, a tugboat, or a dinghy? <laughs> Stacy. A tugboat. He was the captain of a tugboat the last time you boarded his ship of love. Harmony. A dinghy. Uh, oh, oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> because I was tired. Yeah, and, dinghy. And I was late. And had yeah, to Elizabeth. A speedboat. He's a speedboat. Definitely a speedboat. Well, that devil. Kia. Uh, I have to say a rowboat. A rowboat. Yeah, oh. kind of a, you know, slow, rowing, rocking. <laughs> wow. Next question, ladies. Now, think about this one. What will your husband say is the strangest thing you ever caught him doing at home? And I mean strange. <laughs> Harmony? Probably, oh, 
when yeah. he, he quit his job last week and he when I came home he was cleaning the kitchen. That cleaning was really kitchen. odd. Yeah. Ooh. Well he doesn't do a very good job, but he tried. Yeah. He, um, well, he tried. Tried to do dishes. Talking to my cat, addressing it like I do. Oh, come on, come on, baby. It's time to go. <laughs> I heard him cat. doing that. It was it was okay. very strange. He did the strangest thing. When he walked my dog, I knew. Yeah, so he walked your dog. He walked my dog. Well, that's like, really weird. Yeah, that was that was strange. Wow, Stacy. Good for him. Um, checking his to see if he's going bald in the mirror. How he, do you do that? He always checks me, like, you know. Oh, he checks he, it. Is he, he going bald? He pulls his hair. No, he's not. You know, but for the last five years, he's he's been checking. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Next question, ladies. How will your husband say you would complete this sentence? This is you talking. Based on my husband's previous girlfriends, you would think that he had a thing for women who were what? Elizabeth? Asian. Asian. Okay. Uh, Kita? Tall. Tall. Yeah, she's tall. Stacy? <laughs> strippers. <laughs> strippers? <laughs> oh, Robert went out with strippers? Oh, a lot of them. No kidding. Yeah. Were you a stripper? Oh, no. 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 Huh. I changed him. You changed him from strippers to what? Just, just normal. Oh, I see. Okay. <laughs> Harmony? Blondes. Blondes. He said he doesn't like them, but the last two that I... Last two girls before me are blonde. So. Blonde. Okay, 25 point bonus question. Ladies, which will your husband say is the brand of room deodorizer you use most often? Glade, Lysol, Renews It, or something else? Kita. Something else. Something else. Stacy. Glade. Glade. Harmony. Something else. Something else. Elizabeth. Glade. Glade. Ladies, thank you. We'll be back with the husband. <laughs> with the pair after Bob and Elizabeth. Right after these messages. predicted what you will say and remember these are the 10 point questions and here's our first one gentlemen the last time your wife boarded your ship of love were you the captain of a dinghy a rowboat a tugboat or a speedboat fred i'd have to say a tugboat tugboat yes, <laughs> yeah she said you were a dinghy pal <laughs> how are you gonna say that well you know it wasn't really your fault remember no. i was retired and dinghies stuff, are because... small right? that's her fault no, see, she's no, fair. Fair. The dinghies are little. No, I didn't mean like in no. that way. Pardon me? I didn't mean it that way. Oh, I, I thought you straight. did. No, no, I didn't mean that way. Oh. She, she doesn't know what you mean. No, no I know what I mean. mean. He doesn't yeah. know what I mean. Who knows what who means? <laughs> yeah. I know what I mean. I don't know anything of what you're talking about. You haven't got anything right, so neither of us know. It really doesn't matter. Though. Yeah, it matters. What matters? That we get some right. That you have a dinghy? Well, that definitely matters. <laughs> Yeah, that, that matters. Oh. Robert, were you the captain of a dinghy, a rowboat, a tugboat, or a speedboat? Uh, I'd say a rowboat. A rowboat. All right, she said you were the captain of a tugboat. <laughs> well, because we, you know, we have to be really careful because of the baby. Oh, yeah. So I, I just thought that I knew he that, was really yeah. gentle. Anthony? I have to say a speedboat. Sway, to go Anthony. Right. Speedboat. She said a rowboat, pal. Rowboat. Oh, yeah. Why? Speedboat. Rowboat. He's fine. Huh. Okay. What do you think about this, Scott? I have to say speedboat. Speedboat. Okay. She said you were the captain of speedboat. Yeah. Yay. Tell me, gentlemen, what is the strangest? The strangest thing your wife ever caught you doing at home. And I'm talking strange here now. Robert? <laughs> Just not doing anything. Just sit around. Just so sitting around. games or something. All right. She said the strangest thing she did. Now, she catches you checking for your ball spot. Oh. Let, let me see. Turn around. <laughs> oh, yeah. You got one, man. But yeah. you always think you I always think that. I have one. I'm always checking. Yeah. Video games is normal for you. It's not okay. strange. Anthony, the strangest thing she's ever caught you at home doing. She's caught me several times uh, naked. Oh no. <laughs> naked. You mean your own wife caught you naked? How embarrassing. Oh my gosh. Several times this has happened? Yeah. Really? They'd be coming home from work and I'd be just getting out the shower. Oh. But now I have to put on my underwear. I've never heard anything like this before in my whole life. <laughs> Do you have any kids, Anthony? Yes, I have one. You have one? How? <laughs> if she never caught you naked. She said, she said the strangest thing she ever caught you doing was walking her dog. 
Now, if she had said naked on that, that would have been strange. Okay. <laughs> okay. Wow. Scott, strangest thing she's ever caught you doing at home. Well, she says it's real strange the way I lay around in my bathroom all the time. Okay. Elizabeth said the strangest thing she's ever caught you doing is talking to her cat. Oh, yeah. Come here, baby. Come on, sweetie. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it doesn't work either. Especially with his voice. Come on, baby. Come on, sweetie. <laughs> that cat doesn't. She doesn't give me the time right? of day. Fred, I make sure that my, my shoes are okay and I was smelling my socks. Darn. You smell your socks? <laughs> yeah, because I play basketball. So, you know, if That's if true. the shoes are getting old, I either get new insoles or just so get new shoes. So she caught you smelling your own socks? Well, yeah, she catches me sometimes. Boy, no. She caught you clean in the kitchen. Oh, from work lunch, she acts like that's a big deal. Yeah. Oh, that is a big deal. But he does smell his socks every night. I forgot. He even smells our son's socks. Oh. Uh, he and he got to get it. into the flow. He's he's a, and he makes his, our son smell his socks too. No kidding. Yeah. Boy. Poor kid. You must have a fun fun evening around your house at night. Yeah. You sit smelling socks, huh? Wow. <laughs> Next question, gentlemen. How did your wife complete this sentence? This is her talking. Based on my husband's previous girlfriends, you would think that he had a thing for women who were what? Anthony? Who were <laughs> tall? Tall. She said tall. Yeah. <laughs> Scott. Uh, I think she'd say Asian. Asian is what she said. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Fred, based upon my husband's previous girlfriend, do you think he had a thing? I have to say short. Short. Most of my girlfriends were short. Were they, were they also blonde? Yeah, Stacy. Yeah. yeah. See, she just didn't like Stacy. That's why. No, I that's not true. Was she was clear like blonde. blonde. Stacy. Who's Stacy? Blonde, but she would let see through clear blonde. Stacy's the one that you talked about when they were out of the room, the real good-looking one with a great body. Yeah, yeah that one. Yeah. <laughs> oh my yeah. Oh. Great body. <laughs> What's the matter with Stacy's body? It's not that great. How do you know? Oh, yeah. she, he, oh she could be watching on. Hi, Stacy. <laughs> You're still zero points here. I know. Yeah. I We're know. still married, though. Yeah, I know you are. <laughs> you still smell your own socks, so everything's okay. <laughs> Robert, based on my husband's previous girlfriends, you would think that he had a thing for women who were what? Crazy. Crazy. Robert, you know what she told us? What? You just don't look the type, pal. Strippers. I was going to say that. Yeah? <laughs> Crazy strippers. Crazy strippers. Did you go out with a lot of strippers? Yeah, I used to play in a band, and uh, it seemed like when you play music, the only thing that uh, bands, like musicians, attract are uh, strippers, at least in L.A. There's got a lot of guys going out and buying guitars right now. <laughs> Before we get to our 25-point bonus question, let's see where our winning couple will be going on their second honeymoon. You're going on a fabulous trip to Barbados! A six-night all-inclusive vacation at Almond Beach Resorts in Barbados. Gourmet dining, free pools, water sports, piano bar, and entertainment. A true romantic getaway. Almond Beach Resorts, Barbados. Good luck, everybody. Back to you, Bob. Sounds like fun. Okay, great second honeymoon for one of our four couples. Let's see who's going to Barbados. Here's the 25-point bonus question. Gentlemen, which is the brand of room deodorizer your wife uses most often? Is it Lysol, Renews It, Glade or something else. Let's go to couple number two, Fred and Harmony. You have zero. 25 would put you into a tie for the lead, though, Fred. <laughs> I'd have to say Lysol. Lysol! So you said, uh, very few couples go away with no points. You know that? Yeah, something else. That? <laughs> That's okay. You always use couple. that purple, remember the purple pulp eraser that's sitting on the entertainment center. What do you, what do you use that? And I use. Yeah, couple number three, Robert and Stacy with five twenty-five would give you thirty. Take over the lead, Robert, with the correct answer. I'd say something else. Something else. She said it is Glade. Glade. That peach stuff is Glade. Yeah. Cu couple number one, Scott and Elizabeth with twenty-five. Twenty-five would give you fifty. Lysol renews it. Glade or something else. I think it's Glade. Glade. She said it is Glade. All right. All right. Couple number four, Anthony and Peter. You have twenty-five. Twenty-five would give you fifty. If you get it right, you're tied for the lead. What's your answer? Glade. Glade. She said it is something else. That means a couple number one. Scott and Elizabeth. You're on it.